Hello everyone, this is Liz Bancroft-Turner from IOHK, here today to give you August update for Project Shelley. So in today's agenda, I'll give you a recap of why we're doing this project and highlight the three main rock streams that will deliver decentralisation and provide an update of the work we've carried out for the month of August. So as a reminder for those of you not familiar with Shelley, this is what the project is all about. So the goal of Shelley is to become fully decentralised and autonomous. There are three main work streams that will help us deliver decentralisation. They are incentives, delegation and networking. So for the incentives, this is about encouraging stakeholders to follow the protocol and ensure that the system runs smoothly. For delegation, this is about allowing users to hand over their right to sign blocks to a third party. And for networking, this is uh, about enabling the infrastructure to support decentralization. So against our plan, we have split out the deliverables into three core project phases. They are research, design and implementation. So starting with the research, we've successfully completed this phase. So there are two deliverables here. They are the incentives and the delegation research papers. So the incentives research paper was submitted to WINE end of July and the delegation paper was recently submitted to NDSS. Uh, there's an e-print version of the incentives paper on archive and the paper is also available from our website. Uh, we're expecting to have a delegation research paper e-print too so please watch out for this. So moving on to the design phase, we're still in um, progress with a number of deliverables here. Uh, starting with the delegation design spec. So here we merge the incentives design document into the delegation design spec. We're in the final stages of completing the, uh, the design spec. Uh, we've had a number of internal reviews and updates throughout the month. We have recently decided to change how we decentralize in that at the moment, all blocks are created by one of eight core nodes. Once the system is fully decentralized, they have to be created by independent nodes. For the security of the Cardano protocol, uh, it's important that not too many people miss the opportunity to create a block when it's their turn. So therefore, when going from centralized to uh, fully decentralized, we must make sure that the blocks are still reliably produced. So we therefore plan to have a gradual transition phase, so in which we slowly give control of block creation to the world. So while still being able to monitor sufficiently where many blocks are being produced and while uh, still being able to guarantee system security. So moving on to the detailed technical implementation plan, we've been working on this over the last few weeks and we have a number of work packages being written across core, wallet, front and back end. Uh, we expect this to be completed in the next week or so uh, and then we'll translate these into tasks for the developers to go and implement. Uh, with the Delta Q measurements design uh, in July, we validated the design assumptions with a set of real-world experiments between AWS data centers worldwide. This gives us a greater confidence that our design targets should support high performance at world scale. Uh, communication protocol design, uh, we've been working on expressing a protocol for blockchain exchange as execut executable Haskell so that the same program can run in production and in simulation. So moving then on to test nets. So we're still working on how we deliver test nets. So we're still in the early stages of defining how the test net will operate for Shelley and currently working on the design principle mechanisms of how we go about the, um, the exercise of transitioning from Byron to Shelley testnet. So we are currently defining and creating a deployment plan that addresses the operational requirements uh, and a high level test plan and as well as known unknowns and collaborating with the various teams to produce um, those uh, answers and solutions. So uh, from a DevOps uh, point of view, they are defining what those deployment scripts look like to deploy the different parts of Shelly. For example, the state pool infrastructure, they'll need uh, infrastructure, sorry, they'll need instructions from the networking guys on how this is going to look and uh, need some architecture di uh, diagrams before they can uh, see what that looks like and how the public will use it. So we'll get a better sense of uh, that towards the end of this month. So that concludes the end of my project update for today. I hope you found that useful and thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you in the next month's update. Bye for now.